I always knew I had a good eye. Uh, my deal was to communicate. These get wrapped up like it's, like it's going to the damn moon, you know? John Francis McCarthy has never had a problem communicating. Even growing up on Tipperary Hill in Syracuse, the grandson of Irish immigrants. I was told my first sentence was, where's me spoon? He founded his own newspaper in college, and somewhere along the way, his focus shifted from the printed word to printed images that he captured on film. I'd have to go into the dark room for a cover, and when I saw that chemistry come up out of the, or the image come up out of the chemistry, I was just hooked. John's shop here on Jordan Street in Skinny Atlas is a favorite stop for tourists. They come for the pictures, but they stick around for the stories. Yeah. My grandmother, uh, she's right off the boat from Ireland, you know, and. Mm -hmm. uh, she never used to dust. He's best known for landscape shots of his two favorite places, the Finger Lakes and Ireland. McCarthy can wait hours, even days, for the right shot, the right weather, the right light, the right colors popping out. Other times, serendipity smiles on him, like the sun setting over the Finger Lakes from Seneca to Watisco. The Five Lakes picture lasted five minutes. I was in a plane. I couldn't go back and shoot that one again. And then the, the picture of the trees there, so it's 8 o'clock in the morning, it took three shots, and it's, it's in a lot of doctor's offices and in funeral homes, actually, because it's such a calming effect, it has such a calming effect on people. This is an interesting story, too. <laughs> John McCarthy has the same effect on you in person. A warm smile, a quick joke, and always a story. Almost anything that I hear reminds me of a story. And sometimes it's, you know, it sounds like you're w trying to one-up people, you, but it's excitement for me. I'm just waiting for that person to finish their story so I can tell them mine. Get in the car. Get in the car. Let me get out of the way. From Skinny Atlas, I'm Tim Fox, News Channel 9. <laughs> what a great talent. And while we know the St. Patrick's Parade has been postponed, we are still recognizing the Grand Marshals who are making a difference in our community.